Hello everyone, welcome back to Scented Moments channel, I'm Jolima and today I will do a review of a fragrance from House of Profumo Broma and the fragrance is Ignusa, this one right here. Uh, by this time you all know that I love Profumo Broma, Profumo Broma is one of my favorite niche houses. I recently talked about Profumo Broma house, um, I think it was a couple of videos ago where I talked about some of my favorite fragrances from that house, like the ones that I have here, and also other ones that I do enjoy, but I hadn't by that time. And this one was one of those cases. And I also talked about some fragrances that I did not enjoy as much from the House of Profumo Broma. But well, today I want to talk about my latest acquisition, which is Ignusa. This one right here, man, Ignusa. <laughs> um, this is really a joyful, happy fragrance. This is fresh, this is green, this has fig leaf. The most realistic fig leaf that I ever smelled, period. Uh, so of course, the note breakdown, it's quite simple. Uh, you have a fig leaf, you have fig tree, you have hay, you have myrtle, and uh, also you have grass like green grass, fresh cutted grass. Um, so of course, this fragrance is linear, but that's not a bad thing. Actually, I think linear fragrances can be masterpieces, and I think this one is one of those cases, in my honest opinion, of course, uh, because of the natural smelling feel that this one has, and also the realistic part. I mean, this is even mind-blowing how realistic this fragrance is. Of course, this has fig leaf right in the opening. This is green, it's herbal, it's dry. It's not very sweet at all. It's it's more dry, it's a bit bitter. I, I would even say in the opening, this is quite bitter. And as it starts to develop, uh, this fragrance, which doesn't develop all that much, like when it goes to the dry down, you get some woody uh, undertones but that's it. This one is green, herbal, fresh, realistic, realistic. Um, imagine that you are crushing fig leaves in your hands and you have this resinous, like gooey touches. It's like it smells. Every time I smell this one, I close my eyes and I feel like I am under a fig tree, surrounded by grass, next to the sea, um, because this, the freshness in here Oh man, it's to die for, really to die for. Uh, I would even say he has a he has a touch of mineral, uh, a mineral uh, sensation at least for me. That's why I imagine myself next to the sea. But this one, it's out of this world. This is very underrated in my opinion. Not everyone has talked about uh, Ignusa as a fig fragrance. Well, this is not a fig fruit, more of the fig leaf, but it's the best one out there hands down. Uh, when comparing with, for example, Philosicos from Diptyque, uh, Philosicos is more about the fig fruit. So it's creamy, it's sweet, much sweeter than Profumo Broma. And of course the fig there, it's very realistic as well in Diptyque, but it's sweeter, it's fruity, it's creamy, it's woody. And while here it's green, it's more about the greenness, it's more about the herbal effect, it's more about the freshness the bitterness, dry, it's more about that. Uh, when comparing this one with uh, Acqua di Parma, Fico di Amalfi, which I also have and love, um, they are still different because in Acqua di Parma you have more aquatic, uh, watery uh, accords, very prominent there, where in here you don't have, you might have a mineral feel, but it's that's about it. In Acqua di Parma it's more watery, uh, and also you have more of a fig fruit in there. Also about the fig leaf, but also you have a hint of a fig fruit where here you don't have. Um, so again, quite different, very different takes on fig and fig leaf, but I think this one takes a cake. Also you have uh, Un Jardin et Méditerranée from Hermès, a masterpiece from Jean-Claude Elena for the transparency from the wateriness in there also quite green uh, but here this one has more body this one has more body it's more full and the performance in here it's better but uh, when comparing with 
Perfume Roma fragrances overall this one the performance in here it's probably the biggest letdown uh, in terms of longevity this one is quite good it will last you for a good amount of time we are talking about eight to nine hours the projection though it's where this lacks it doesn't project all that much um, will project like uh, half an arm length uh, for about one hour but again here I need to say that here in Lisbon well first of all we are in quarantine and it it's quite chill actually still the the summer has yet to come the warmer days have yet to come so I don't know how this will behave I think I guess that in the warmer days in the hotter days this will project better but for now it's in average in the 20 degrees 18 20 degrees so also not that not that cold but still the projection it's not incredible but still uh, that for me it's not a problem because the smell the scent it's magical it's heaven it's a fig leaf heaven if you love fig leaves if you love a uh, fig a fig impression although this doesn't have the fruit but still you can have the impression of a fig fruit wow this one is mind-blowing in my opinion this could be very well my one my top one uh, my favorite spring fragrance actually if I, if I would have this when I did my top 10 best spring fragrances but nonetheless I did not feature this one this year it will be featured next year I think this one is a spring jam um, because of the greenness again wow. <laughs> it's incredible if I would talk about my I don't know top 10 happy fragrances this one would feature very high on that list uh, so guys hope you enjoyed this review tell me in the comments down below if you already tried Ignusa what are your thoughts about this fragrance do you, what's your favorite fig slash uh, fig leaf fragrance tell me everything in the comments down below also tell me uh, what kind of videos you want me to do like what kind of fragrances you want me to talk about well as long as I have I have them in my collection of course but still tell me everything in the comments down below and see you in the next video take care guys stay safe wash your hands and don't hoard toilet paper <laughs>